Welcome to Connection Card Pro. In this short tutorial I will walk you through how to use our crew scheduling features to schedule and manage your volunteers. In Connection Card Pro, crews are the type of group that we built for work teams, volunteer teams, committees, or any other group of individuals who are serving or working on a regular basis. First, click on Groups and then Crews. On this page you will see a list of any crews which already exist in your organization. You can create a new crew by clicking on Add New at the top. Since this tutorial is focused on the scheduling features, I will assume you've already created a crew. But, when creating a crew, there are few things you should keep in mind before beginning to use schedules. When creating or editing a crew, scroll down to the scheduling section. Here, check which types of events you plan on scheduling for this crew. This may be services, rehearsals, or shifts. Below that, there are a few options for schedule notifications. You can enable or disable scheduling notifications via email, text, push notifications to the Connection Card Pro mobile app, or Slack notifications. Choose whether or not crew members are allowed to decline a service they are scheduled for, and whether or not the selected position should be rescheduled automatically when someone is unavailable. Connection Card Pro values the energy of your teams and volunteers. Burnout is a very real thing, especially in the Western Church. That's why we've also developed a few features which will help you limit or minimize burnout among your crew members. Scroll down a bit more and you'll find the Positions section. When creating a schedule for a crew, you will select which positions should be scheduled. So, creating an applicable positions first will streamline the schedule process. A position represents a role that someone may be scheduled to carry out. For a greeters or hospitality crew, it's possible you have only one position. Greeter. But, for a production team, you may likely have multiple positions. Such as lighting, sound, and lyrics. In a worship band, you may have a number of positions for piano, lead, guitar, drums, bass, or vocalist. Once you've created your necessary positions and saved this crew, you are ready to create your first schedule. From the list of crews, just click on the Schedules button for the applicable crew. On this page, you will see a list of currently scheduled events on the left side, if there are any. And a calendar on the right. Click anywhere on the calendar to create a new scheduled event. Based on the settings for the crew, you can choose whether you are scheduling a service, a special event, a crew meeting, a rehearsal or a shift. Select the date and time. Optionally, select if this service repeats. Then, choose which positions you would like to schedule as part of this service or event. You can add as few or as many positions as you'd like. If you have multiple people filling the same role, such as a handful of greeters on your hospitality team, then you can increase the number of spots to fill for that position. Optionally, you can choose an existing meeting time if this service or event is associated with that meeting time. Then, enter the call time, that is the time you expect your people to arrive and give this event a name. Click Create. All upcoming events will be visible on the left side of the page. If there are spots to be filled, you can easily select or type the name of the individual you'd like to schedule to fill that spot and click Add. If schedule notifications are enabled, then this person will receive a notification they've been scheduled, along with a reminder a couple days before. Once scheduled, you will see a small dot beside each crew member's name. A grey dot means that they have not responded to or confirmed that they've been scheduled. A green dot means that this person has confirmed they are available for this position. If a person has responded that they are unavailable for this position, then you'll be able to reschedule them by selecting a new person. The list of scheduled positions on the left side of this page will prioritize unfilled spots and unavailable crew members at the top of the list before sorting by date. This will help you to make sure that no spot goes unfilled. I hope that you will find these scheduling tools to be useful within your church or ministry. Please check out other tutorial videos to learn more about Connection Card Pro. Thanks for watching.